the barracks. Let's do the pledge. Let's go. I pledge allegiance to the code and the ways of masculinity. Yes. Never at any point should the feminine imperative affect my decision making capacity. <laughs> We well, salute. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, soldiers, more importantly, yes. Welcome to another episode of the Barracks. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow the Barracks SD on Twitter and on Instagram. Man. Let's have a chit chat and let's engage. So, hey, as promised. Yeah, yeah, as, as promised, at least we're following through on one of our promises. Bruh. Yeah, Bruh. it's too many pending, dog. <laughs> but we had to do this one first, right. just to get into the swing of doing these damn part two. Part two. Yes. Yes. The content is spilling over. It's like, yeah. it, we feel, you especially, <laughs> you feel like we haven't said enough. Yeah. And people also feel like, no, there's other sides to what you guys are talking about. But let's hear that. You, you know what? Um, unfortunately, we can't be omnipresent, right? And we can't be in your mind. So if we miss something, or if we're blindsided by something, those are the kinds of conversations that the people bring to us via the comments. Yes. Something, right? then, Yo, but then, what about this? Mm -hmm. What about that? Mm -hmm. You've missed out on this. And that's where we need the people to be engaged with. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of just continuing. I think that's how the, the part two scenarios are going to be working out better for all of us. For every yeah. Because so now, we'll, if we missed out on something and we bring it up, we definitely do know about it. Of course. Yeah, everyone's happy. Yeah, everybody's got to get active. Um, we like talking, but it was common, so we know what to talk about next. How, you know, what you've got yeah. here. No, people must even suggest topics. Bro. Yeah, of course. Of course. Like, oh, this is not a dictatorship. Yeah, what are you saying, man? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a dictatorship, but um, we just come to reason. That's all it is. No. That's just reason, bro. So it's reason. Mm -hmm. Double standards. Part, part two. two. Come on. As promised. You know, so. But run us a bank. Paul is different. <laughs> Paul is different. Is different. Oh, I'm telling you, bro, that that's a triple platinum episode. You reckon? Okay. I'm telling you. Jeez. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yeah. The energy was different, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything, you know. It's just slowly coming together. Yeah. On that item. So we touched on a couple of things on here. And I feel like we could have carried on. Right. But unfortunately, we didn't have time to keep moving. So that's what we're doing now. Um, as you can see, menus have changed. But the something that you have in just says what it is. It's semantics. So, part two. Part one, what we touch on. Because now I really want to go deep into some of the ideas we touched on. Okay. The, the whole thing of as a dude, anytime you meet the selfish thing, mm -hmm. you have to scandalize, of course. But a woman doing the exact same thing, that's empowerment. It's <laughs> empowerment. <laughs> Just think about it, bro. Like, just in the case of marriage, bro, mm -hmm. the divorce situation, uh, how it works for the one gender and how, how it works for the Regardless of who was in the wrong, who. That's relevant. It's very relevant because also, how are you, like, 80% of divorce life is shady. Right, yeah. And then you still get the best. The best outcome, yeah. We'll address that. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I can already see your urge. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my cool to <laughs> so we can get through this episode. Because I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't like this. No, it is what it is, bro. But like, the whole thing, just the, the whole concept and idea around the whole thing. So, besides them initiating it, even why they initiate it, 
that's my initial state. So mm-hmm. then it's a part. Oh girl, you're not happy? Mm-hmm. And then what about the commitment? Mm-hmm. You don't have to be happy in the commitment. People don't like being soldiers, man. Like the fact that you get deployed to war at any point in time. Yes. Nobody wants that. Because mm-hmm. that's duty. Over design. Yep. You know? And yep. when you make vows and you say all those things, you are committed to duty over desire. Yeah. That's what it is, bro. And with dudes, that's somehow already in our DNA. Because now as a man for, for all your life, you live for whatever you live for. Yeah. Be a cause, be just yourself, yes. whatever. It's just you. But once you have a family, now you don't even live for them, you are willing to die. Die for them. It's all about you anymore. Yeah. And we clear about that. You know, and do to move according to that. But for women, you know, like, okay, I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired, man. It's just not what it used to be. Everything is conditional for them. And, and for us, it's there's no condition. Once I'm inside, I'm inside. Yes, I guess I say, you know what I mean? No. It's, it's even with the whole submission thing. You know? It's like, I only submit to you if. There's always an if. That's conditional. But me, I must provide. No, I can't just say that. That's your Nah, I So you see how lengthy the double standard chat is. Like, we haven't even said much. We haven't even started the main thing. But we've already brought about like three to four points. Right. Different points of how these double standards affect us. Yeah. And the decisions that we make. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe it's a problem or deficiency. But I always then feel like, yo, the way Hans has it is easy. Like, they can just always cry a wolf. They can just always be the victims. It just works. Yeah. It just works for them. Yeah. Like, cry a wolf, it works. Be, make yourself seem disadvantaged yeah. in a scenario, it works. Yeah. You know, even if you aren't. Yes, in instances, they are. You know, and they have been for extended periods of time. Or at least that's the consensus now. But then if you refer back to that time mm. and the people that lived during that time, they'll tell you straight up that yo, I was the best type of society to live. Yeah, they were happy. They are happy first of all, functional. Now we're unhappy yeah. and dysfunctional. So what are we doing with you? What are we doing with you? Again, another heavy intro. You know what I mean? Like, even with man start, the big DJ is going through a madness right now. The business. She initiated the divorce, I like yeah. um, But she still wants to get paid. For what? I'm curious. <laughs> no, it's... I'm a fact. No. <laughs> I'm curious. Because you work. You do it. You do it well in your life. Yeah. You are pretty solid. Why must I pay you for a choice that you decided to make? Because sh- the roles were reversed again. Yeah. I mean, they leave with what you came from. But she's not going to pay me for the cost. Yeah. She's not going to pay me child support or whatever it is. For me, if we're doing equality, let's do the equality work. Oh, no, yeah. You know, if we're doing the half and half, then. Let's not do it. No, here's the thing, bro. It's the whole thing of women listening to other women, particularly their peers. You know, of just being practical about the situation. Yeah. And even taking guidance from the elder. Because hey, that's, that's where it also gets tricky. It gets very tricky. Because yeah. yeah. now, because they have trauma from that setup, they discourage it. Yeah. It's 100% discouraged. You know? And if it works for them, they encourage it. And so this is again, it would say, who did it work for? And who are you getting information from? Mm. You know, like you always make the point, you would say, yo, Kids that grew up in a married structure are married now. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is what you know. It's right. a cult. And I feel like right now, because we are so detached from who we are, we don't have a cult. Mm. Like, do what you want. There's no society now. So do what you want to do. Go where you want to go. It's like, guys, I'm not guys, I'm not guys, I say this. Because there must be there must be a cause. There must be a direction. Now let me see how it's 
Who knows who's on YouTube? Who knows? Right now, I'm just fighting for more reasons. Because we have the choice to. Oh, well, guess what? Exercise the freedom of choice. But it seems like we're not allowed to exercise. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, you're not. 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 you are it's always a thing. Because mm. I personally prefer all that skin. It's preference. Mm. I prefer for me all the game that's genetic disposition. Uh-huh. Just mm. psychologically mm. more predisposed to that. Yeah. So it's always what why I know it's why. Mm. Mm. If I could tap into something on the other side mm. that touches parts of me that I'm not I would do it. Then I'd fully do that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But it just doesn't happen. Get that chance. Mm. She's like, mm. 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 I dare say, yeah, they nice can No, you don't get to bell wash, right? Because you don't get to bell wash, but it's just always, you know, the ones that you really get. Yeah. It's part four, you know, like, you know. And if you have know my history, <laughs> Check the files. It's like you know. It's like, it's like, you know yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is yeah. Nice. You know. But then again, you see the whole thing during your personality for me as well. It counts for a lot because personality on whose side? The mother's your side. No, for them, like yeah. the archetype is usually the same. Of the girls. Like if I can connect with your personality outside of your looks and stuff. Yeah. If it's the personality that I'm naturally drawn to, then it's a goal. Okay. I can I can take a six easy if she tickles my fancy in the other basis. As opposed to just going for a ten because she's a physical team. Because mm. you drop points that like, gave you your mm. yes, yeah. There's nothing that's um, annoying as a hunt giving us smart challenges. My boy. Yo. It's not that look, I'm a six. So, <laughs> you're not as fun as me, it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so... That just created a whole different picture. <laughs> like, yo, come on, just pay me the mom. Pay me the mom. Y'all bring nothing to the table anyway, so just... Come on, with the seeds, girl. Okay? Hey, you and a man are for the first episode. <laughs> Oh, but uh, hey, you know, it's just like the whole double standard of saying if you broke, I, I only pay rich guys. Okay. Right? You know, I feel like let, let's get to a point where we like this. Yes, we're going to judge each other as people based on preference, just based on the sexual market value yeah. itself. Yeah. The stipulations that are already out there wouldn't create the rules. We mm-hmm. just have to play by. You create that. So, if we're not in my I don't date blue dudes. Babe, don't date blue dudes. But then, that means you need to be attractive to rich dudes. Mm-hmm. That means you're 10. Number one. Okay, from all angles. Yeah. That means physically 10. Femininity 10. Oof. Age 10. Cooperation 10. Double. Fertility. Double. Yeah. All those things. That's the only way you're getting a rich dude. Particularly a high value high rich value. dude. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if they're in those understandings. Mm-hmm. And it happens. It works for a lot of people. It does, bro. It works for a lot of people. You see, the other issue is that uh, because now we are being told how to behave, how to move, what kind of what we should date, what we should accept, what we should accept as the man, right? The archetype of a good woman being always a case of the woman getting the better deal. Yes, yeah. the deal that we should go for as well. Yeah. As the host. Yeah. yeah. Dog, the, 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 the most noble thing you can do now as a man for women to respect you and like you <laughs> is accept the short end of the stick. Yeah. 
Anytime as a dude, you can't just be taking that deal. You are the king. Power. That's a real king. That's that's a real, that's a real king. He raped uh, a child that's not his, and he healed a heart he didn't break. Yes. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, here's another thing, though. Going back to the hearts and the kids. Yeah. Yeah, the kid thing is deep. You know how we feel about it. I'll give you the science later on. Let's just talk about the heart thing. Right? We all have imprints. Um, and women, theirs are more, I guess, more severe than ours are, right? Because mm-hmm. times are different. So her first imprint is the sexual imprint. The one you hit first. That's why I rage you got them. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. At the end of the day, yo. I don't care. You know what it is. You know? Yeah. There's that guy. And then there's the guy who hit it right. Yes. That's the second one, right? Mm-hmm. That's another imprint. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's the guy that broke her heart. Yeah. If you're lucky, you, that's the man. There's one more. Yeah. There's gotta be a one. I love her. That's usually the other one. You reckon? That, that's why I need to, that's why I need to, oh, okay, no, let's add the fourth one. Yeah. Going back to the point that I was trying to. Yes. <laughs> if you are lucky, mm. all those goals, there's one man. If you are lucky, you, as the guy, as the guy coming into your life. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you are okay. lucky, all those guys, there's the one. Or maybe two. Yeah. This one had two. This one had two. Okay. It's two imprints. All right. But the way things operate now, yeah. it's four imprints. Yeah. Key. Four. Chances are, those are imprints, though. You can't outdo any of those guys. Because you can't be the first again. You never will. Right. Okay. So maybe you can beat my four and you get it better. You get it better, yes. Maybe you can do that too. And then maybe, love of her life, you, you can't break her heart again. So the parts of herself that need to heal, you can't heal them. No, 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 but you must be a king and heal that heart. You can't. <laughs> it's a losing battle. You see, uh, that's why women then move funny, operate in a funny way. Mm. Everything that you do for her to heal her, she wants from the guy that broke that out. Mm. You can do it all. Like, yo, I think this guy is perfect. I wish you were him. Mm. That's always the challenge. I wish it was just that nigga doing all this shit here. Mm. Fool him. Yo. Yeah, yeah I know. She, now she's setting for you because she got her. Max. Yo. That's why I gained this thing also translates to ladies. Mm. Like, no, I might have his youth, I might have his youth. And then you will take it all of you. And that's very noble. Of course, you are a king because you did that. You're an alpha. Nah, right? <laughs> Let's not distort <laughs> the alpha chat. We can do other things. Let's not distort the alpha chat. Let's not distort the alpha Because now, uh, <laughs> we were talking OG, OG alpha. You don't even talk to women like that. Mm. Simple mothers and baby mothers, no entertainment. Nothing. You don't even smash them, bro. Even mm. if, nah. Mm. I deal mm. with that. You don't deserve my energy, bitch. Mm-hmm. That's that alpha, alpha energy. So let's not go the alpha out. Because there's different alphas, right? The contextual alpha, the OG, the traditional. Yes, like, yes, yes. You don't want to have that chance because now you're going to realize just how beta we are as a person. True. And then you realize just how shitty your hearts are. Mm. That's why. Mm. If you go the full alpha out, yeah. that's how you end up becoming a misogynist. Because then it's just like, I mean, fuck out of Of course you can. You guys are not worth nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You know, so you don't want to be that guy. Yeah. Trust me, you don't want to be that guy. So now we need to find a balance and find a place where we are all happy. And I'm saying, yo, the only way we can do that is the 50 50 thing. In the sense, you would see, you get half of what you want, and I get half of what I want. At the very least. Because I'm not going to give you anything I want from you. And you're not going to give you anything you want from me. Let's balance it out. Let me get something which you get something. Mm. Nobody must feel free changed. True. Because even 
Sometimes it's selfish transactional. How do you mean? It's transactional, bro. It's like, I do this to get that. You do this to get that. Yeah. Even if you don't expect a return, an active return from the other person, yeah. it's a feeling that you get when you do something for that person. <sighs> You see what I mean? So you don't do it for them, you do it for you. You do it for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's start understanding all those things. Uh, but because say, you know, for the longest time, as the host, we've been shortchanged. I won't lie. True. I've been shortchanged. Oh, yeah. I've been shortchanged. And it's, what? Yeah, I know it's bad. What? Yeah, it's very bad. No. It's really bad. Yeah. And this is now what it ultimately puts us off. And we become very cold and heartless, but it's like, no, I've seen what O's have gone through because of you guys. Yeah. I don't want to be a statistic. Of yes. that. Yeah. I don't want to be a statistic. Of that. Who hurt you? That's the shit. Sign language. I hate it, dog. <laughs> I hate it, dog. Like, it hurts me now. Because like, as soon as I, because the thing is, religiously, dog, on cue, mm. they do it the right way. They don't even jumble the letters, dog. They mm-hmm. start where they should start. Where they should start. <laughs> they start with the S. <laughs> Bah! <laughs> like, what's cool? For me, once you already start with the S, I'm like, I know. There's, not, there's nothing I can say to you. I know. You're lost already. Because mm-hmm. you can't have the chat objectively. Oh, because yeah. you know it. You're wrong. You know it. <laughs> you know it. Dog, it's rare. Even in a casual conversation, bro. Yeah. Where you're having these chats with the other just like, Never, never. You can't. So it's like, how hurt you, bro? That's not the point. Yes, you know your mother's black too, right? Hands, bro. So it gets tricky. And lamenta go standards. I'm not being addressed because, you know, hands are like, ah, just shit. Okay, let's contextualize it. We've spoken double standards, we've made some examples. We haven't really digressed, but we've just given you a chat and a full picture of what we've been going about. That's kind of just really simple. Divorce. Yeah. Why don't I ever win? Mm. Why don't I get half your shit? Mm. Look, Because now, I think there's the idea of let's create traditional goals for us together. Yes. I don't, don't want traditional goals. Okay. Women in 2021 don't want that. Let's group that. Yeah. No traditional goals. Mm-hmm. Me, as a man right now, approaching 30. You, as my wife, that I get, say you're 25. Mm-hmm. Me, then. I'm going to make you Provide. <laughs> Where the kids, I'll take care of the kids. Can I pursue you? <laughs> Can I pursue you? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> you need to do that. That's your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're scraping roles, it's fine. But do you the kids enough, long enough, until they don't have to be with you? Then I'll stay at home and take care of them. Go and work. Go on if you want to be a lawyer. Go there to your law firm and work. I'll sit here. I'm going to sit at the crib, play video games, and take care of the kids. And when the divorce happens, I'm going to divorce your ass. Because now, you're fat and you're not giving me the sex that I want. I'm going to divorce your ass. I'm not in love with you anymore. And I'm going to take half your shit. And still take the kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's a madness. Okay. Now, I'm explaining to the kid, right? Okay. Mr. Masubo, fine. When you want to sit at home and do all this, what are you, what are you bringing to the table at this point? Because right now, you're just sitting at home playing video games. My house is, my house is dirty. The dishes are not cleaned. No, they will be. And there's no food. No, they will be. I'll do all that. You're going to cook? Yeah, I'm going to clean, do the laundry, everything. Yeah, it's fine. You go work. <laughs> go work. Why don't you have money here? Go work, man. Buy a machine. I do laundry there. Yeah. Kids are taking care of. I've got the whole day to play my video games, dog. Yeah. So I've got the whole day to do the other shit as well. It's fine. But then now, when you come back, boys, I'm there mid-season, but I transfer a window there in my feet. <laughs> man. So there's no grass. I mean, there's no pipe for you, man. <laughs> No, because I'm busy now. I'm doing my shit. Doing my I'm tired. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired. I've been working. I've been working the whole day. 
taking care of these damn ass kids. <laughs> now you come back. Yeah. You know, now your, your food will be there, but it's gonna be in the microwave. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm doing shit. I'm taking care of the home. Yes, I'm taking care of the home. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. That's where it gets fucked up. Mm. They don't wanna do that. Mm. We just don't wanna work all day. Right? They don't. No one wants to work. We working now. Yeah, yeah. We working yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. Where are most hands that you know? Oh, same yeah. doors though. Doors. Text thing. Living. Yeah. That's what I'm working. Why? Because we are just more genetically wired to do that. Yeah. We want to. It's like, this are. is a form of slavery in itself. It's who we are. Yeah. They don't want that shit. But they want equality. And then, because we're talking about marriage, divorce, the whole prenup situation, mm -hmm. you know? Um, you dare. You dare. Say, bring, bring it up. What? Bring up. Come on. You don't love me. I can love you all I want. <laughs> I just did that. You don't love me. I just did that. That's why I even these days of prenups now. I have like conditions for certain things. Because it's like, yo, for you to get anything, you should have been married for five years. And you can't get this shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, in certain clauses, like, yo, but if I cheat on you, Yeah. Etc. around that. But then already again, that's not a marriage, that's a contract though. So all these stipulations, all these rules, because back in the day when motherfuckers got married, they got married and that was that. Yep. 68 years old, dog. It's like someone must die. Till death was part of the trees. That's what you mean. Yeah, yeah. And they stood by that. Like, mm, that's what you nah. Nah, it was cool. First 20 years, why? Right. Going on to the third year. Whatever, but we're good now. We're in a good place. We've been married for 45 years. Yeah. yeah you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my nigga. Like, I hate him at times, but <laughs> he's, my, he's mine. You see yeah. what I mean? Like, they had that thing. Like, oh, whatever happens, happens. Bro. Yeah. Like, this is my husband, yeah. this is my wife. That's what's important to me. Now it's like, I'm going to go back. That's it. So I'm going to do this. Because mm. also now it's like the. That's why, that's why you discourage me, that's why you ask, that's why you discourage me. My would say, now you don't operate in similar circles. You'll be married, you have single friends. You have yeah. friends that belong to the circle. You have friends that belong to the circle. Yes. So if me as a single man, you marry as my wife, you have it out with me, I'm going to do what single people do. And yes. I'm going to take you to a single. There's a madness there that married people don't really get to experience. Yeah. No. That's a different kind of madness. Mm. You get there now, you stop liking that. Because and naturally you like it because it's not what you have. It's not what you have, right, right. You know, it's like, oh shit, this is cool. Oh, shit. The same thing that we are kind of as the same things. Like, yo, man, what? No, I want some cards, bro. I want cook me, bro. Some chats, this woman just yapping in my ear. The shit that pisses you off, now you crave it. I was like, no, just the person making noise. You're like, ah, I don't want that. Because you don't have it. Mm. Yeah. So now, back in the day, Lung said to both the show, but he would do At a certain age, as a hard, you must be married. If you're not married, you know we are Catholic. We toss you to the side, you're going now. In, in Korea, I think it is one of these Asian countries. Mm -hmm. If you're over 26, you are not married. They call you a dead dog. Yeah. Can't leave you. What? Yeah. Buy a dog. Buy a dog. Die. So rough. <laughs> but now in you know this westernized society, you know, the, the preaching is different. Reach out. The opposite. Hold out for as long as you can. As long as you can and wait for the best deal. Demand the best deal. After holding out. Because you do know holding out your value drops. Because you're not the best people, right? For I, I don't think the issue is, that's where now I will then always try to preach to the folks. What's your crap? Be in a position where your options as muffled are limited. Where you actually are spoiled for choice. Because I always say we are approaching 30. 
Now, if my best play is a 30 year old, I, I don't have options. I, 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 I don't have options. You're not pre selected, I don't have options. So if I go that route, and I could go that route and be happy, but it was a circumstantial mm. situation. You know, this is what I could if you get. Do it over, you wouldn't pick that. Yeah. I met the best out of what I had. Don't be that guy. Don't be that. No. Because now that's falling into the trap that all these hearts create in this new feminized society. To know, take the royal and the mm. Take the fucking West. That's one man. If you do that, now you're a man. You're a real man. You're a real man. Don't listen to full money. <laughs> I bet you there's a lady somewhere sitting with her man saying, Don't listen to full money. You don't know what he's talking about. That's he's single, first of all. You and me. I don't see. That's why then it gets tricky. It's like, Why is he saying? Because he's going to go, yeah, you see, he's only saying he's single. So you can't listen to him. He doesn't even have a heart. <laughs> you know? And a lot of people will buy into that. Like, shit, bro. Older me would buy into that. Rather, young me. I believe it's better. I would buy into that. And then now I'm like, yo, but yo, you don't understand what's going on. I know I'm single. Mm. I know I'm single. Yeah. You know, on my part, and then the part of the heart. Of the heart, yeah. yeah. Just on my part, I know. I know I'm single, yeah. so I'm like, okay, well, I'll fix that. Let's fix this. Yeah. Fix that. And on the part of the hands, that's where I might have a problem. Even after I fix my own shit. Mm. I feel like I might have a problem with mm. the hands. Because now everything is just like, yo. Like, I've read the book, dog. Like, there's nothing new that you're going to tell me. Mm. Now it's a thing of, make me feel something. But then, because I've read the book, fuck my feelings also. Mm-hmm. Like, how you feel is very difficult. Yeah. Like, it must make sense. sense. So now I'm just at that point, and I'm like, yo, the longer I stay in this position, it's going to be like that. That's, that's what I'm just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> For real, Tom, you can be the best version of yourself, but with the knowledge that you now have, yeah. and will continue to continue. take on, it's going to be vision. You might ask dog, so you think of who you just be like, ah, I'm in church. I'm in now, I'm the, going back to the idea of paranoia once you go deep into whatever ideology you're into. Yeah. Now you are always looking for those things. And even when you're not looking, you see them. Mm. All those markers and those red flags that they yeah. talk about. It's you like, see them. Now you see them now. It's like, like right, right now, though, as we're speaking, we've got a database of certain people that we interact with. But we've already prejudged them and put them in categories. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. everyone belongs somewhere now. Just simply because you project certain attributes mm-hmm. that agree or disagree with the shit that we're doing. That's my thing, though. I'm just waiting. One person, dog. Prove me wrong. Mm. It's been two months mm. of actively being in the space. Not two months of living this shit. Yeah. <laughs> living this shit for years. Yeah. It's been two months of us speaking about it. No one has proven me wrong. Mm. One, not even one person. Zero, zero, nothing. No one has proven me wrong to be like, nah, okay, maybe. Mm. Mm. All of it to me. See? 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 It's always like this. I feel like circumstances. What you feel? What is and what is not. And we're still beating around with our mental standards. Because then we're not serious, man. And it actually affects how we make decisions. Finally. Because now, just I was trying to go into the divorce thing. It's like, yo. Divorce will never work for those in life, right? So now the precaution then becomes, then don't get married. No. Don't get married. Yeah. Then now that's fucked up. Yeah. And commitment for what, 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 what,
Because from a practical perspective, yeah, just from a very practical perspective, I mean, what do you stand to benefit from? Mm. Outside of us being in the culture that we're in, where as a man, we're Yeah. Because that's the only benefit for us like, right now. In our society, the only thing you so you're saying, the only thing you would gain is getting married now and respect from everybody else. Yeah, respect that I would because you can have all the respect in the world, but there's that element that's yeah. missing. Socially. No, no, so socially, because of the society that we belong to. Yes. Even structurally, it can affect some of your moves if you are married. You and I, right now, as we are, even if we can make a page and talk to some bodies and have certain agreements, there's certain people that will give us more because we say, but, but same age, same circumstance, you are married. They just as well. They give us a lot. Yeah, just because of the society. Same thing with the hunts. And they're trying to negate that now. That's another thing that I've seen. <laughs> when they're trying to negate that now, like all together, like no, it's okay to be single. It's okay to be single. It's okay to be unmarried. Mm. With being single your whole life. Yeah. My head. I feel like being the most My head. Because now the idea is are you saying no one wants to marry mm. your whole life? The problem now becomes is this whole modern dynamic. When you are in that position, the force is always on us as the man. And you never introspect and look at yourself and say, What got me here? Why am I? Because women control access to sex and control access to relationships. So if no one is saying, yo, I need you by my side, no one's choosing to act here. There's a problem. What's in your then I become an asshole then when I'm connected to one sexy thing like this? Because from the original statement that you made to me, then it becomes a very simple thing. Because you already control the access to the sex. Yeah. 
and I see who wants him. A patch of me singing the words of me. I can't fool because every day, every fucking day, I realize just how much the world. Every fucking day. Like the, it's getting to a point where I'm just like, like the, if I said what I should be saying to you as a high, you'd never speak to me. Mm-hmm. Because the thing is, what's I mean, they need to be saying, yeah, so you know, yeah. hide the medicine, you know, it's airy, you know? The barracks. The Barracks Podcast. Like, comment, subscribe.